Welcome to this week's Harvest of the Month delivery of Summer Squash, brought to you by CLA. We run six farmers markets across Los Angeles. I'm Krista and I'd like to share some summer squash tips and recipes with you highlighting the only vegetable that starts with the letter Z, zucchini. Zucchini is the most common variety of summer squash and can be found in abundance because it grows really quickly in the summer heat as fast as one inch per day, making it go from this to this in a couple of days. Its speedy growth requires growers to keep a close eye on it or else. Besides zucchini, there are many varieties of summer squash to try like yellow crookneck, patty pan, and little baby patty pan. You can also eat the blossom that the squash grows from. It turns into a giant flower and it's delicious cooked and stuffed with a light filling or chopped up and tossed in raw with your salad. It's like the natural abundance of zucchini is trying to tell us something. Eat more! And why not? Because one cup of sliced zucchini provides a good source of fiber and is 96% water, something our bodies love. This beneficial combination helps to balance blood sugar levels. The same serving also provides a good source of potassium to support healthy blood pressure and fluid balance. A great way to use zucchini and get more fiber is to simply chop it up and add it to your favorite dishes. It can easily be mixed with stir fries or with your eggs at breakfast. You can even boost the goodness of a salsa dip by adding chopped zucchini and a can of black beans and turning a snack into a meal. Today, I'm going to make a simple, fast side dish with these tender little zucchini. I'll save the big guy for baking. This dish is a salsa style with a unique pickled flavor. It's ideal for serving alongside sandwiches or grilled foods. It's a quick and tangy zucchini salsa. Wash and chop your zucchini into small bite-sized pieces until you have about four cups. Now make an easy three to one dressing. In a bowl, mix three tablespoons of red wine vinegar, two tablespoons of oil, one teaspoon of lime zest, and two teaspoons of lime juice. Mix that all up, then add your chopped zucchini, tossing it all together. Use this neat trick with scissors in a jar to chop a quarter cup of cilantro. Then sprinkle with about three quarter teaspoon of salt. You can chill this if you like, but it's best eaten right away. This week's harvest came to you from local California farm, Finca Bonita, a family run farm in San Bernardino Valley. I hope you've enjoyed this week's fun tips and quick delicious recipe. Today is our last class in the harvest of the month series. I hope you've enjoyed learning about different California grown produce and discovered some new and tasty recipes. For even more recipe videos, subscribe to our channel at PS Buena Cocina and click the notification bell. You can find all your favorite harvest of the month fruits and veggies at one of CLA's farmers markets. All of our markets except CalFresh, EBT, and WIC. We hope to see you at a farmers market soon.